kind of looking here for another fight, but I don't want to just run into them. And you always want the enemies to walk into you like this. So we wait for the river. Already after that here, I use my quick server against the Ramos. My blade is yours. Welcome back to Packy Wild Rift to this quick master Yi guide here. We need to talk about him again because they added new mechanics to Yi. So let's start with the reset on Meditate. For that you use Meditate right after your first attack went through. This way you get a really fast double attack and also reduce your damage in the meantime. Let's wait till our lethal tempo is passed off. You can also use it on third ability. It's even easier because you just need to uh, tap it. For the meditate you need to tap meditate and then go right back to the attack button again. And now I'll show you how you can use both after each other. So you attack, use your meditate attack and then press your third spell. This way you get a lot of burst. It works really well on a crit build but you also really should use this on the classic on hit build on Yi since it just gives you a lot of damage and also reduces the DPS. And next we're gonna jump to the build. So I brainstormed my three builds here for you guys. Let's start with the classic on hit build. That's not really anything not everyone else is building too. So I would recommend these items. Your usual runes. I, I do run Ignite on Yi. You can also use Flash or Ghost, whatever you prefer. And that's my runes. Now then we have the tank build. So you do lose uh, attack damage with this. And uh, you lose 5 move speed on the Sterox and also health on the Velf Rune King. So you do gut yourself a little, but I think it's worth it for the stats. And with this build I really recommend it against uh, Heavy CC. You get 15% uh, tenacity from Legend Tenacity. Of course you can run this build too, uh, then you just change out the runes. If you don't, if enemies don't have a lot of CC, then you go for Alacrity here and for Overgrowth on this one. But yeah, with a lot of CC you get 20% tenacity from Twin Guard and you stack it way faster than before. You can also get 50% tenacity from Sterox if you proc it. Then you also get 15% from tenacity and 20% if you have a lot of enemies around from Onslaught. So together with Quicksilver and Sterox effect that makes you like really immune to CC. So I think this one is really good. If the enemies do have a lot of CC you can't really dodge easily. And then lastly we have the one shot crit build. There I go Omnivent boots. By the way in both uh, last ones I go for the defensive boots. I think they give you more survivability and just uh, make it possible to stack your lethal tempo and get in the fights without getting one shot. So we go Omnivent boots, Terminus for like this early game getting a little tankiness. And yeah the, the stats from Terminus are just way too good to not go for it. And then we have Navori, since yeah, it just it's just really good on E. It reduces your like true damage on third spell, and you have Alpha Strike more often with this. And now all your abilities are even more important since you can reset your auto attacks with it. So yeah, I really recommend Navori first into the new Infinity Edge for a nice damage power spike. Then you can go Phantom Dancer into Shield Bow can switch these bolts if you want and yeah, you can also go mortal reminder if they really have a lot of healing but remember you do get a lot of armor pen from the terminus already so you're not forced to go like uh, for an armor pen item like last whisper if the enemies aren't like really tanky and with this build i also run lethal tempo since they remove crack slayer i don't think pressy attack is really good one thing I do different here is Gathering Storm because I think the 80 is better on the crit build than the Brutal. And yeah, just really classic runes other than that. And I also run Flash instead of Ignite on this build because you are more squishy and you really need to find good engage angles with this build otherwise you will just get one shot. And now we jump into the gameplay where I will play the classic on hit for you guys. So this is an Emerald ranked game and we got countered pretty heavily by Remus, Riven and Morgana, which are all decent against Yi. 
like any CC set also has a CC with his ultimate. And yeah, that's why we went for the anti-CC build I showed earlier in the builds. So basically the first items are your classic on it builds, then you go defensive boots and I do build twin guard since you get it faster since the rework. And yeah, after that you can go for even more tank items. I already talked enough about the builds in the beginning. So we do start on Crux, we have a control ward on our blue. And now the build, build changed, uh, the jungle clear I mean changed a little too. Since now, since you get your tech reset on your third ability, I would recommend to use it for that as well in the jungle for a faster clear speed. And yeah, you can even use your uh, second ability, the meditate, to get resets, but I still do two points and alpha strike for faster clear. It's definitely gonna do way more than resetting your attack with the meditate. And you wanna do a full clear almost always on E, especially against early junglers like Riven. And yeah, that's why I just like to start classic on red. Usually the enemy jungler starts on red as well. And that way you both get, get a free crab. Which is definitely what you want to do again if you're playing E against Riven. Honestly, he got buffed so hard with these auto attack resets, I might be able to fight Riven with the Ignite I'm running. But yeah, you can always play it safe and don't do anything wrong. So we go for a gank here, get the first reset with our second ability. Honestly, uh, I maybe could have killed him if I did another reset with Meditate. But we didn't do it because I was expecting him to flash. So my Meditate would have been wasted. And I was kind of trying to hold it as I need uh, another reset there when he goes back in or anything. But yeah, could have maybe gone for the second auto attack reset on Meditate and gotten a kill there with the Ignite. And yeah, sadly uh, the enemy Riven got a gang off on our Kassadin and he just died to her pretty free. So now we get a Vamp Scepter and a Dagger. Who wanna rush Blade of Ring King. They even buffed it. I mean you lose some HP but one more percent uh, on it damage, like uh, one more, one percent more max health, I think it is, from the enemies per attack, which is pretty huge. And also more physical vamp and less gold, which is the most important thing in my opinion. So I was kind of looking for a gank here bot lane, but they did have a ward, so we just go back to clearing. By the way, my team was already uh, flaming in champ select just because I didn't give my Ash the first pick since he wanted Tristana as well. Then he just got crazy mad when the enemy picked Tristana. When I'm trying to play Yi, man, he got so overbuffed. He's really contested now, I think. Or at least he should be. So yeah, I don't really find... Uh, yeah, there you can see the Ash flaming, no jungle, 3 minutes and I didn't do anything for the bad jungle. Anyway, the Morgana is staying and yeah, I was expecting her to go a little more for the minions. But with the resets we can just still go the Stifer. We did have the Meditate here to dodge more turret damage. Uh, block the turret damage I mean from the last shot if we have got another one. I was expecting Riven not to be there since she, since she was so low before. And yeah, that's why I went for it and got our first kill. Looks like Riven uh, got a reset. But yeah, I was just thinking she couldn't be there in time, so I went for it. But yeah, these plays are kind of risky in the early game. You gotta always really think about them. Yeah, I messed up my reset a little. Press the third skill too early, so... I didn't get another attack off from that one. I don't have my ultimate here, so I'm not going to help the Kassadin. Thinking it here in chat that I don't have ultimate. Now I do have my Grump up, but I want to go for the Scuttle Crab. 
make sure Riven doesn't get it since I want to be doing the Rift Herald. And yeah, I just uh, started the spawn, someone wards it, but I do think that we can fight them honestly. And they throw everything on me, I use my Alpha Spike and then I block a lot of damage with the Meditate and I just keep it running because yeah, we have enough damage doing on them. So I can just uh, stay in my Meditate, they can kill me. That's sometimes a better use than using it just for an auto attack reset, definitely still after the buff. Only the third spell which I would be always using to get another auto attack off. So now we have Blades Rinking and Plated Steel Caps. They do have a lot of AD damage. Their only AP damage is Morgana and the Ramus. And honestly, once I have Quicksilver, Ramus is not really a big threat to me. So I was pinging the Darius to start Rake. Luckily he went for it, so we can just uh, finish that. I tried to dodge the Riven ult here, and yeah. That was just really free, no reason for our enemy team to go in there when we have Drake already. That was kinda kind of an in from them. And now I'm just going back to clearing here. But it does look like my bot line keeps fighting. So I look if they need help there. Just staying around in case they walk into me. Yeah, just like that. They walk into me, so I do go on the Tristana. Fortunately. She gets out for now, but yeah, we will just, since we have our lethal tempo stack, we can just go in here later. We do get a triple reset on the Morgana, so we do get another kill here, but then the Ramos is there to get us. Not perfectly played, I was kind of thinking I get the Tristana already, so we did have to take some unnecessary turret damage there, but overall it was still really worth it to go for that. And yeah, they could see the power of the triple reset on the Morgana. It was like Half-Life and I just one-shot her. Even though I'm not playing Crit Master Yi. If you want to see the Crit Yi, make sure you uh, subscribe and wait for the next video. Because it will probably be about Crit Yi. I'm just uh, definitely back to one-tracking Master Yi this season. Even if they nerf him, just uh, adding these mechanics makes him so much more fun to play. Like not not working Meditate Reset really was the thing that I didn't like on the Wild Rift key, since I did play a ton of PC League key. Uh, yeah, and they could Meditate Reset and it was just uh, really, really a fluid thing to do if you had practice. Then you had an insane same fast reset. I can't do it yet uh, this fast in Wild Rift, but maybe it will come with some practice. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fast already, honestly. I'm just gonna press it like right after, right when your attack animation went through, like when it's not even finished, you can already meditate and instantly attack again. And yeah, with the uh, third ability, it's a little easier. Literally the same once your animation went through but like not completely, then you can already press the third skill to get another attack off. So I'm kind of looking here for another fight, but I don't want to just run into them. And you always want the enemies to walk into you like this. So we wait for the river. Already have her dead here, I use my Quicksilver against the Ramos. Then I use another reset on my third skill. And yeah. If they walk into you, it's gonna be really free like this, because you will have your lethal tempo stacked up. When everyone arrives, probably already killed the first one, so it's not like 1v5. And that's just your dream scenario on Master Yi. And by the way, even if your ult is still running, don't go for a dive on that Morgana there. Like, sometimes you just gotta back off, even on Master Yi when everything is running, you're too low. Of course, it's die there if your jungle is up and everything. Just go back, get a reset like me here. Buy some more items and yeah, just don't waste your shutdown and your dead time, anything like that. Grab, grab some farm here. I do want to push the bot tower 
it should be pretty free to get. Since I'm this ahead here, I don't want to just full clear my jungle. Definitely want to keep keep farming all the time, even if you're ahead. But if you're ahead like me here, just uh, be farming, but farm wave, push towers, farm the enemy jungle like this. And this way you will deny enemy gold, maybe they walk into you and you can get more kills. You can push turrets, like, just uh, just use your item lead here. Now I do get, get the crap here, hoping for Tristana to walk into me, but she does back out again. I sweep this bush, thinking no one saw me, but I think someone saw me walking in there from the bush. So they all go for me here and I just get yeah, way too much CC. I don't know if I could have quick silvered this, maybe if I used it early to deny the knock up there. But yeah, no no talking nice about this. I just kinda got overconfident and into it here. So we are back alive, enemies are pushing mid lane. I was thinking if I wanna clear my jungle, but I wanna help uh, defend the turret here. To get a kill without the ultimate. Riven is too far away already, so no point in me activating my ult here. Maybe I should have been there earlier to defend the turret. But yeah, no big deal, they got the first turret mid lane. I just farmed for my wits end here. I know I said uh, when I'm this ahead I don't wanna full clear my own jungle. But yeah, when, it's, when really everything is up it's uh, really gold efficient and I don't want to die here when Baron is up. I don't really know why my team is fighting there on mid lane. Could just uh, get some farm there. Bot lane is a lot of CS. The Ash is trolling, by the way. Still trying to steal red here. She already said in chat she's gonna end. And yeah, she's only split pushing, so I'm taking some of her farm here. But now I do go for the golems. Yeah, the Darius is pretty mad too, he feels like uh, trying to do Baron. But I don't think it's the right call here to just uh, pressure the Baron and forcing objectives on Yi is not that good. He's gonna do it when the enemy team is somewhere else and you want like a few people to walk into you. Here I was just, uh, I really wanted to Darius to engage here. Tristana holds me out, so I use my Meditate here to extend my ult duration. Yeah, the, the Darius is just uh, waiting in the bush there, which is pretty annoying. He went in with me here, like, I almost killed them all alone. He just comes, he's, he's literally full tank Darius. So, I'm getting a little mad here, but I'm not sending it in chat. Just gonna <laughs> type it and delete it again. He gets a few kills though, which is nice, but if he helped me earlier, we just... Uh, I would have lived as well and we could have done Baron. It's pretty annoying. But yeah, maybe he underestimated my power and thought I'm just going in and in, which I can respect as well. So Ash gets a nice ult here, so the Darius doesn't die. But they are already spawning, so we're not really... Getting a lot here, just as one turret. And I go straight back to mid lane since, yeah, this is just a uh, perma ARAM here at this point. But unfortunately, they don't keep chasing. So next, I'm gonna do some more counter jungling. I was trying to wait in the push here for someone, but they all went bot lane to the Kassadin. That's why I decided to push the top turret, almost down here. But yeah, unfortunately the Morgana is here and she does have the best wave clear from their team. So we can't really go for the turret. That's kinda going a little far here, so we turn on him. And I get a little overconfident again, thinking I have more damage to get out of this one after killing her. So since they have a lot of AP, uh, AD damage I mean, I'm going for some more armor. You could also run the Sterox, as I said in the beginning, against a lot of uh, CC. 
But yeah, I, I think I mainly get AD damage here and I do have a lot of tenacity and quicksilver as well already. So I don't think I really need the Sterax that much. So we knew they were on Dragon here, which is why I spam pink the Baron. We get it for free. I clean the Ramus Taunt. Some resets here, as I said, they are just insane. Unfortunately, Tristana gets to hold me away in time. But we pick up some more kills. I don't uh, chase the Riven too far here again. Like, I still have some ult left, but really bad if I die here, so. I just heal back up from my jungle here, and then I'm gonna go push mid lane. There is already getting crazy mad while I'm already going to push just because I healed up a little on the camps. I really don't know why they are all so mad, man. It's just the beginning of the season. I guess it's just uh, playing jungle. It's always gonna be like that. So, Remus just exhausts us. We reset, get the true damage on him. He's dead already. Get another. Flash follow here with our first spell. And here I kind of fucked up the meditate reset. I was pretty sure that I used it into his uh, like his shield ability that does a ton of damage. But in the middle it does true damage. I think that's why it still did a ton of damage even though I was meditating. I think I timed it right, but yeah it does true damage so it doesn't work there. So we died, but we killed almost all of them, and that won us the game. Now let's check the damage real quick. We are at 3 marks in Emerald 2. Making our way back to Diamond for now. Got the MVP. Only gonna give the Kassadin a like here, because uh, Darius was really annoying. Ash was flaming like hell and champ select already. And uh, Deluxe was kinda non existent in this game. So, here's the damage. And on the next video, I'm gonna be probably playing Critty, so stay around for that one. Mother always said, subscribe to Pacquiao, and if that's done, click the bell so you don't miss any videos.